Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode 195. And we've got a quite short episode, but we've got a couple things that I want to show you guys that are actually quite decent. Now, we don't have a new update, you know, no sneak peeks, no new tier of any sorts. Hopefully, that will be coming next week, um, which is what we've been saying every week, obviously, for months. But hopefully, um, because this, this kind of shouts um, end of the tier for me. So, let's have a quick look. We've got Ring Domination, and the event card is The Rock, which I'm not going to argue. That's that's a, you know, that's quite a great card to get. It's an awesome guy. He's, and he's a, he's a left arrow. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. Good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, a Rock card, but that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. For the first time in Supercard history, um, well, I'm pretty sure it is, instead of just having the normal cards, you know, leading up to the event card in an event, well, they are now throwbacks. Well, in this in this specific event, I, uh, I'm i guessing it will be maybe Hall of Fame cards in the, art, in the Road to Glory, or maybe it will be throwbacks as well, I don't know. Maybe it will be a Flash RTG, which will confirm the new tier. Um, but yeah, look at this. So, we've got, we've got throwbacks. So, for everyone who have a couple Ultima or or WrestleMania throwbacks. So I just want the picture or just yeah, it's pretty cool. Um so yeah, that's that's actually something that they've done which is cool. We've got a couple other things I want to show you guys and we got one reward, well, one reward, something to claim and that is our fusion. It's only an elite fusion, but still going to claim that nonetheless. And then we've got money in the bank. Now, I haven't even mentioned this and I'm going to try and Play a little bit of Money in the Bank now. I, I know I say that all the time, but for the next batch of rewards, I'd like to have a maybe enough contracts to cash in. Not not definitely not for Randy or Jinder, but maybe the next batch of rewards. But yeah, I haven't even mentioned it or showed it in a video. There are obviously new cards, and it is a Jinder Mahal and a Randy Orton. Um, Decentish picture uh, for this one. It's not fantastic, but it's obviously. Uh, Punjabi prison uh, cage, well, themed background, which is which is quite nice. Um, I definitely like the Jinder one more than I do the Randy one. This one is actually pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's money in the bank. We're gonna try and, and play every now and again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and claim our Elite Fusion. Then we're gonna go and play one or two games money in the bank, and that is literally gonna be the episode for today. Just a quick kind of preview for this upcoming Solo Road to Glory. It starts tomorrow morning, nine o'clock for me, which is in seven hours and 11 minutes. It's gonna be really exciting, uh, just having different kind of cards to go for in a ring domination than just the normal cards. The, uh, hopefully the ultimate is either Mankind or Lita, I think, is who we want and who we don't have yet. And then any any WrestleMania one would be fine. I would I would quite like a, a I don't know actually. I, I I know there's quite a lot of them. I, a gold dust picture is pretty cool, but I think I'd prefer one of the Hardys. And then obviously the Rock. I don't know exactly with his stats how he compares to John Cena. What we can do is check that out right now though, on uh, on the poll if they've got the Rock's stats up. While the page is loading up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a game of Money in the Bank. Here we go. Page is just loaded up. Let's see. Wow, okay. Wow, wow. Uh, so, yeah, The Rock is now the best. He is now better than John Cena as well. So, pretty cool. At least they're making the event guards better now instead of having them just all at the same. Which is a bit, which was a bit of a shame, I I feel. So yeah, The Rock, pretty cool. Um, maybe maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last event card, you know. And anyway, we still have May Young to get proed. I don't know when we're gonna get that done. Um, obviously no females in ring domination. So normally I get my pro event done in. Um, I get the single event card done in Team RTG, and then I get the second one done in solo ring domination but obviously it's a female no females in ring dom so i'm just gonna have to grind out the games or wait for team rtg to come up which will obviously be after ring dom so yeah i, I could wait probably will uh, i don't see myself just playing um 
wild mode. I forgot the name of it there for a second. I was going to say, but no, wild mode, yeah, I'm just not going to play that for hours and hours just so I can get some games played on that Mae Young. So we will just probably end up waiting till Team RTG, which is, you know, and then we'll get we'll get the single rock done as well at, at the same time. So that can be that can be pretty useful. All right, let's get these. Uh, Let's get these two last games done here. We'll go Braun Strowman with that Seth Rollins. I think we're good. We are. Very easy now because of like all the event cards, obviously. You know, at first it was a little bit hard. Um, Money in the Banks when, you know, I, I kind of wanted to like drop my deck down and I just auto-filled because I was just always sick of having not my best deck in there. And it was, you know, when you have mostly just normal WrestleMania cards, it's a bit harder because they're all quite close together. So, yeah, until you have quite a couple of events, which is obviously at the stage we are now in my deck. If you can, if you look at this, um, eight, nine, nine event cards. Yeah, plus Eddie, just brilliant, brilliant. So yeah. Anyway, that's Money in the Bank. Still quite boring, but we're just gonna try and grind. A little bit every day and eventually maybe get to 40k contracts 45k and then see what we can get in the next batch of rewards hopefully a new tier let's claim our elite fusion guys this is kind of the most interesting thing we've got to do please be a Jason Jordan <laughs> that's pretty cool I don't think I had a Jason Jordan before so we've just got Kurt Angle's son uh, we've now got every Elite Fusion, that's pretty cool. So Jason Jordan was the was the only one I was missing there, so that is actually really cool. Who are we missing in the Ultimates? Um, Shames is someone who I really want to get. Yeah, we've got Cesaro like three or four times now, so anyone else um, I, who I would rather a Shames, because there's the, uh, that picture that I got back when that season one glitch happened where you can get those pictures. I got a really sick looking picture of that Seamus. So I'd really want a Seamus. We'll get that fusion underway uh, after this, not to bore with you, not to bore you guys with all of that. We will be starting a team battleground as well um, when ring domination goes up so we can get some charges at the same time. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Not much gameplay in it, but uh, tomorrow will be a solo ring dom episode. And there'll be tons of gameplay in there. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do drop it a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Then take care and peace out.